viewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee and in this video tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how to form box pleats. To start a box pleat you need to work on the right side of your fabric and find a point at which you want to start. I'm going to be making my centre point here and each side of that centre point you're going to have marks. You're going to have three in total on each side. So the side has to be equal amounts. So I'm going to go for four centimetres there. And four. And four. So that's my centre point. And those are my three markings. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same again. So I'm going to go, let me do it this way. So you can get a better view. Four, eight, and twelve. So you've got three points on each side, and this is going to be the centre marking. I put a pin to mark the centre point, and I'm going to get number one of the markings one, two, and three. I'm going to pinch number one marking and bring it over to number three and then I'm going to put a pin in place to keep it in position and I'm going to do the same on the opposite side so I'm going to get marking number one pinch and then bring it over to marking number three now pin the box plate into position I'll just give you a little quick view of what it looks like on the wrong side. Now in order for me to keep the pleat in position I then need to stitch within the seam line so I'll do a row of stitching right across the pleat and that will help to keep these two folds which come away from each other giving that flat look a boxy type shape hence the reason it's called a box pleat. You can find box pleats in any part of the garment they can be used for decorative reasons or to reduce fullness or just add that creative flair to any sewing project. Don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.